Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. All right, everyone, from the looks of things, Nintendo may have just been caught slipping on this one because many websites are reporting that Nintendo has accidentally leaked a bonus DLC character for Smash Ultimate's Fighters Pass Volume 2. Now, all of this information originates from a Reddit user that goes by the name of Rupert, and in one of their recent posts, they explain that on Nintendo's official New Zealand site for Smash Ultimate, they have actually found clues for a bonus DLC character within Fighters Pass Volume 2. They go on to explain that every single DLC character from Fighters Pass 1 to the Mi costumes to Fighters Pass 2 all have their respective NSUID. Now, I know you're wondering what in the world is an NSUID? Well, for Nintendo, all games, DLC, and bundles have their own respective code called the NSUID. These are the final numbers that you find when you click on the web page link for each DLC character. For example, for Piranha Plant, if you click on this character's web page link, you get this and you see those last numbers at the end there. That is the character's NSUID and like I said, each DLC character has this code. And I got this image that you see on your screens here from eventhubs.com which breaks every character's NSUID down. As you can see, Piranha Plant has 8501, Joker 8502, and all the other characters in Fighters Pass 1 have their own respective codes in order. Even the bonus Rex Me Fighter costume that's a part of Fighters Pass 1. And if you look down at Fighters Pass Volume 2, starting with Min Min, her numbers are 8967, 8968 for the Minecraft DLC, and so forth and so on. Everything is in correct order until you get to 8973, which is a web page that cannot be found. But as you see there, the NSUID 8974 is for the Guardian Meek Fighter costume, which is a bonus part of Fighters Pass Volume 2. So the question is, why would Nintendo skip between Challenger Pack 11 and the Guardian Mii Fighter costume with this 8973, which brings you to this webpage here? Well, like I said earlier in this video, many websites have concluded that, yes, a bonus DLC character is in the works for Fighters Pass Volume 2, and Nintendo has not revealed this to the public yet, and to be honest, this makes a ton of sense. We have to remember that at the beginning of Fighters Pass 1, Piranha Plant was the DLC character that was a bonus if you bought the entire pass, and later on Nintendo made this character separate to purchase. Now, wouldn't it make sense if they did the same thing for Fighters Pass Volume 2? I think it is. But the big question is, who in the world could this character be? I mean, there are tons of different characters that would deserve a bonus DLC slot for Smash Ultimate. I would think that they would do Waluigi, to be honest. I mean, this character has been highly requested for so long to be in the game, and Waluigi just fits that whole bonus DLC character feel. Many people want to see this character in the game, whether it's just for a joke or to be serious, and Nintendo listens to their fans. You think they don't, but they do listen to their fans, and what a way to end off the Fighters Pass with one of the most highly requested characters to be within the game. Of course, none of this is set in stone, neither Nintendo or Masahiro Sakurai has confirmed that a bonus DLC character will be a part of Fighters Pass 2, but the evidence is there. So we will see what happens at the end of Fighters Pass 2, maybe we do get a bonus DLC character, and maybe we don't. Only time will tell. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for this video. What are your thoughts on everything that was discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Plus, if you wanna support this channel financially, become a member by hitting that join button right below this video. It's only 99 cents per month and perks are included. And as always, remember to keep it locked here at Around the Clock, where here, we focus on Nintendo gaming news around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next one.